So I think we're at the beginning of a healthcare revolution in this country. I think more and more people are coming to the realization that health doesn't always come from the outside in as much as it does from the inside out. And in fact, I find it kind of ironic that the country that started the, really gave birth to the modern medicine idea is finding itself in the midst of a healthcare crisis. Here we have a country that makes up only about 5% of the world's population, and yet we consume over 40% of the world's medications. And so this idea that if health really came through better chemistry, or health really came from a bottle, you'd expect the country that consumes the most medication to experience the best health. And the sad truth is that's, that's really not what we're experiencing. We have higher rates of chronic disease and dysfunction in this country than we ever have in, in the past. And I think the problem really lies in the sense of how we're utilizing our healthcare. What we have is really a mismanagement problem. We've got the world's best medications, we've got the world's brightest surgeons, but we're using these, in, these, these people and these doctors, I think, in sometimes the wrong situations. And let me give you a little ex example to explain that. If you're in the midst of a heart attack, if you're, if you're clutching your chest from the pain of a heart attack, the last thing you want to hear your doctor tell you about is how to eat more salads at dinner time. What you need is you need someone to intervene in that process. Your life is hanging in the balance from a symptom. And really the symptom of a heart attack, a heart attack is a symptom of poor cardiovascular health. But what you need at that moment is someone to intervene, and whether that intervention comes by way of surgeries or medicine, you need somebody to do something to save your life, to buy you some time, so that you can live to the next day and have that conversation about salads. But if you find yourself suffering from a chronic problem, a chronic condition, you find yourself losing your health bit by bit as time goes on, you don't necessarily need crisis management or symptom intervention. What you're really looking for is health restoration. And I think what we have today is a problem in, in a situation in which most people don't really realize the difference between health restoration and symptom management. And they want their health restored, but they don't know how to go about getting it. And that's where upper cervical chiropractic really comes in. Upper cervical chiropractic is a specialty within the chiropractic profession that's geared at identifying and removing underlying problems to someone's health. If you ask yourself what controls how my body functions, what, what makes my heart beat, what controls whether or not my lungs are going to take in air, what controls whether or not my stomach's going to be able to digest my food, the answer to those questions is the nervous system. Yes, there are other things that contribute towards health and wellness, like exercise and sleep and diet, but foundationally, what has to happen first before any of those things have their effect is you have to make sure the brain is able to fully communicate with the body and vice versa. So upper cervical chiropractors are doctors that are trained to identify and isolate areas in the body in which there's neurological interference. And the analogy that kind of paints that picture would be in your house, if you all of a sudden experienced lights going out in the kitchen or in the bathroom or in the dining room, and you had all these lights going out all at the same time, your next solution or your next step would probably be to go identify or go to look at the fuse box in the garage. Well, your body has a similar mechanism. Your body has a fuse box and it's called your brainstem. And your brainstem is really the part of the nervous system that's controlled or geared at controlling everything else. And upper cervical doctors evaluate the function of the brainstem with some pretty advanced technology called infrared thermography. And if we find a person's nervous system to not be functioning normally, the next step we're going to do is we're going to take some very specialized x-rays of the upper neck to see if there's a misalignment, an actual structural problem, interfering with that communication. Just like a fuse box in your house being out, it's going to affect the light bulbs in your kitchen or your bathroom. The same analogy applies for the body. If your brainstem is compromised in function, if you have a misalignment in your upper neck, slightly putting pressure or irritating the nervous system at the level of the brainstem, any number of problems can result from that. So when patients come to see me, it doesn't really matter to me where their pain is or where their problem is or what they call their problem, whether it's vertigo or migraines or fibromyalgia. My job is to get their body to do its job, and that is to function normally and heal. And I do that by helping their nervous system to be in better control of how their body functions. And that doesn't happen from the outside in, that happens from the inside out. So what I tell my clients is you need to remember that your health doesn't always require more intervention. Sometimes what your health needs is less interference. And upper cervical chiropractic is how you can actually achieve that.